Hot 96 News This Hour. Hiyo hali mtoto akiingia kwa kanisa lake alikuwa unamuona kama mpumbavu mpumbavu kabisa. Ukimwambia fanya hivi hataki kabisa nenda kwa masomo. Kwanza anasema mimi nimeambua nisisome maana Yesu hakusoma. Kwa hivyo mimi nami sitasoma. Wale watoto wakienda pale shule wanaenda wanasomea walimu hataki kusikia kabisa. Tukaenda tukaotoa ule mwili wa kijana wa miaka 21. Ali kijana anaitwa Kevin Kipchirchir hiyo tamu iko karibu na shamba ya His Excellency the President kule chini The Hot 96 News now with Teddy Otiano Good afternoon President William Ruto has appointed a commission of inquiry in the wake of the Shakahola massacre. The commission will be chaired by Lady Justice Jesse Lesset. Other commissions are a lady Justice retired and Mary Mohanji Kasango and Eric Gumbo. Others are Bishop Catherine Mutua, Jonathan Lodumpoi, Frank Njenga, Wanyama Musiambo and Albert Musasia. Oliver Kipchumba and Rachel Miner have been named as joint secretaries with Kyoko Kilukumi appointed as the lead counsel. Kilukumi will be assisted by Vivian Nyambeki and Bahati Momwe. The president noted that the commission will identify those responsible, establish the circumstances under which the deaths end torture card and recommend action at the same time the president appointed a 17 member task force to review legal and regulatory frameworks governing religious organizations in the country in a gazette notice the president announced that reverend mutava masimi will chair the committee which will be operational for the next six months bishop mark karaoke bishop eli rop ak bishop Maurice Mohatia, Judy Thongori, Reverend Alphonse Kanga, Bishop Philip Kitoto, and Dr. Faridun Nabdala will sit on the committee as members. They will be joined by Professor Musili Wambua, Joseph Kalinde, Maria War, Charles Kanjama, Lea Kasera, Nancy Murega, and Wilson Wanyanga. Martin Diwa and Maria Goretti Nyeriki will serve as the task force's joint secretaries. The president added that the task force's main responsibility will include identifying gaps that have allowed extremist religious organizations to set up shop in the country. Outgoing Chief of Defense Forces General Robert Kiboshi is set to officially hand over the mantle to his successor. General Francis Ogwala takes over from Kiboshi, marking the end of Kiboshi's reign at the helm of the military. Defense Cabinet Secretary Ed Andwale is among officials attending the change of guard at the Department of Defense headquarters. General Ogola was until appointment by President William Ruto, serving as the Vice Chief of Defense Forces. Kiboshi's eg or rather, Kiboshi exits after serving in the military for 44 years. Manuel President William Ruto's held talks with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz at State House Nairobi. The President said the talks centered on skilled labor migration, green energy, among other issues. We have been able to engage and enhance training opportun uh, opportunities offered to Kenyan youth. Germany has also offered support to expand and upgrade our centers of excellence by increasing them from three to seven. We agreed on the need to align as much as possible the Kenyan and German TVET curriculum. Kenya is Germany's most important trading partner in East Africa. However, the trade balance is in favor of Germany. I have therefore called on the Chancellor to review tariff barriers and to allow Kenyan products to enter the German as well as the European market. On his part, the German Chancellor hailed Kenya for its role in ensuring regional peace. He added that the two countries will continue working together on areas of mutual interest. The visit by the German leader comes amid an outburst of violence in Sudan in just six months since Ethiopia saw the two-year civil war with the country's northern Tigray region come to an end. It is his second time in Africa since taking the top job. We see a great potential for orderly skilled labor migration from Kenya in many fields of our economy. Kenya is a solid democracy. This is why your country is a stabilizing actor in a truly troubled region. We very much appreciate what Kenya has achieved in terms of mediation efforts in the last year and also in the current situation. It is continuing to show in many ways. 
President William Ruto has led the country in mourning Mukami Kimathi, the widow of celebrated freedom fighter Deden Kimathi. Well, the president remembered Mukami as an outstanding woman who championed for cohesion in the country. Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa mourned the deceased as a staunch freedom fighter who played a key role in liberating Kenya. Trade Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuri on his part paid tribute to Mukami for selflessly sacrificing her life so that her fellow countrymen could be free. Azimio leader Raila Odinga remembered Mukami for the fortitude with which she continued to remind Kenyans of the virtues of patriotism, courage and unity. Across the borders now, where a suspect has been arrested after eight people were killed and at least 14 others injured in Sabia's second mass shooting this week, the gunman fired an automatic weapon from a moving vehicle near a village which is about 60 kilometers south of the capital, Belgrade. The interior ministry said the suspect was arrested after an extensive search. It comes after a boy killed nine people at a Belgrade school on Wednesday, which is Sabia's worst shooting in years. That's the latest at 8 minutes past 1. These and more stories at 2. I'm Teddy Otieno. Good afternoon. The Hot 96 News.